Carlos. Carlos, good to see you. How you doing? It's been a long time, man. Thanks for coming. You're welcome. Come on. I spoke to Tomas last week, and I told him I was coming home next Tuesday. Really? So this is a surprise for them? Yeah, my grandson, he's being Christian today. I'm going to surprise him, you know? That's great. How is your family? How's your dad? Uh, you know the old man. He's still the same. Good to be out, Ray. Hey, you don't know how hard it was for me in there, man. The gangs put a lot of pressure on you? Yeah, and no matter where you go on the lockup, you're being confronted with something. Yeah. Well, look, if I can help with anything, you name it, I will. Hey, just by you coming to see me has helped me more than you could ever imagine. I owe you, man. You don't owe me nothing, Carlos. You owe yourself. You're starting over now, brother. Yeah. Twelve years, lonely years, my son. Oh. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> We're a family again. We're a family again. Oh. It's your grandson. Yeah. Oh. 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 It's just like you, Carlos. Rick. This boys, Carlos. Adios. I baptize thee, Hector Emilio Salvador Delgado, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Everything okay? Everything's fine. It's good. It's the best. Please. 
R21, Charles. Got a DB at 14th and Vermont. And for Thank you. I couldn't ask for anything better. You know, I have a beautiful daughter-in-law, a wonderful grandson, and my son's already a man. It's been a long time, huh? <laughs> you here now? We can start over. Ah, uh, yes, we will. I love you. You see the baby? Oh, yeah. He's beautiful. God bless him. Look at that. He's all dressed up. Oh, yeah. Him. He's looking good, you know? He's looking good. I like that. You don't have the belly there, huh? No. <laughs> hey, look. Uh, I'm sorry I didn't come to see you. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on. I mean, you know, forget about it. Believe me, you know? A boy like you got better things to do than picnicking in the prison courtyard, right? You yes. don't kids at their party. Hey, let us have a moment. Take care, right? Yeah. You got, you got a body gun now, Papa? Paco, he's my driver. Takes good care of me. Yeah. Let's find a nice place where we can talk, huh? Yeah, we got lots to talk about. Ow, oh, man! <laughs> I can't believe you, you know? You know, I got, I got a lot of things I want to say, you know? Well, me too. OK, so come on, you know, let's sit down. Let's do it here, you know? I'll go for it. No, 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 no. I, I go for it. Just have a seat. Have a seat a second. You know, 12 years of my life I spent in prison, right? 12 years? You know, I, I missed my son growing up. I missed his wedding. I missed the birth of my grandson. You know, I, I missed you, you know? And I missed you too, Carl. Okay, wait, 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 wait. L let me finish. Uh -huh. You know, I, I, I've been thinking, you know, I mean, it's, it's time for a family to have a decent life, you know? I want the family free and clear of all this violence. I agree with you. And to have a decent life, there are things to do while you're home. There is money to be made. There is business to be conducted. No, 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 no. What do you mean, no? There is to be no more business. What do you mean, no more business? You don't know what's been happening on these streets. Life is just a little bit more expensive, even more precious. Now, I have taken care of this family for a very long time. I will continue to do so. Times have changed. Therefore, I have entered into a business arrangement with the Flyers. What are you saying? They killed my brother, your son. I avenged his death, and I paid with it with 12 years of my life. Water under the bridge. You did your time. I suffered along with you. Now, for our family to have power and respect, it became time to unify. Therefore, we move on. Look, I don't want no business with the flyers or any of this dope or any of these business dealings, man. I'm out. You understand that? I'm out. Want to see me, Captain? Yeah. Lopez got some new information on that DB that Malinsky found. What bothers us is that the chemical he was using is something we haven't seen out there before. There were two more DBs brought in today who used the same chemical, both from the Royal Street Park area, both DOA. And not your usual ODs, either. One of the victims had a pretty small dose. That's why we turned it over to Ozzy. Could it be a variation on something you've seen before? No. We'll do a complete molecular breakdown, but at the moment, it appears to be totally unique. You know, I'll tell you something. 
If it's cheaper and faster to make, somebody's gonna escalate the drug wars by just flooding the market. Well, Narcotics wants Metro to get the source of this thing. I think that's your territory, sir. Yeah, okay, we can do that. Lopez, you're the gang expert. Who's selling the dope around here? Tough call. Flyer territory, but they're the ones that are dying off. The Flyers? Yeah, it's good old Lester Smith. I came by to talk to you about the drug overdoses in your neighborhood. You want to talk to me about it? Yeah. Oh, man. I want to talk to you about it. I think it's outrageous, and I want it stopped. Uh, yeah, look, Lester, I need to know who's making this stuff and who's putting it out on the street. Who's making it? How should I know? I told you I'm in the food business, not the drug business. Lester, you've been involved in every major dope deal the Flyers have done in the last four years. You popped me for dope one time, and now you think I'm in the drug cartel? I told you, man. I'm in the pool business. And right now, man, you bad for business. OK, Lester. You know, Lester, I'm in business, too. I'm in the people business. And when they start to die, I get angry. I get real angry. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to bring some of my friends down. You're the one with flat feet. We're going to play some pool in here. We're going to play a lot of pool in here. Raise it up. Raise it up. I'm hungry. <laughs> hey, come on, Get in, man. Come on, come on. Hey, hey, oh, oh. 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 hey, come on. Oh. 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 Hey, hey, play. What's happening, man? The game ain't over. All right, we're gonna choose up new sides. Give me the ball. Give me the ball. I'm on this side. You on that side. You rocking and rolling two, three days tops. Forget it, man. I'm pulling out of the deal. What you talking about, man? This stuff's almost all made up. I've been hearing that for a long time. Too long, I want our money back. Come on, man, I know they made a couple bad batches, but seven of our people died. Hey, they promised they had all them problems worked out. Except for one. Hunter's starting to smell what we into, and he's leaning on me. One more day. One more day. I ain't it. doing no more time. Especially for another gang. A gang we don't love too much in case you forgot. Come on, let me talk to him, man. Just no me... talking. We're out. Just be sure we get back our whole investment.
Bob's paid a visit to Lester today. He wants his money back. It's too late. What about the investors? Lester has a list of money people. He'd be very upset to find out Lester pulled out. This could hurt us in the future. How do the rest of the flyers feel about that? Don't worry about them. More important, how do you feel about it? It's our chance to make a lot of money. Let's do it. And it seems like the only one that has a problem is Lester, doesn't it? This is starting to feel like harassment. Yeah, well, you know me. I'm here to protect and serve. Is that so? Who killed Lester Smith? How would I know that? Because you know everything that goes on down here. I don't know who killed Lester. How you and the poor locals getting along? We aren't. Never have, never will. You know that. So Lester killed himself. The poor locals would not have, um, how you say the the Webbles to do with my man Lester. OK, Blade. Take care of your neighborhood, or I'll be back. We don't want that. Carlos. Rick, what's up? Hey, listen, I didn't mean to bother you at your work. I just wanted to talk to you for a minute. Lester Smith was killed last night. Who's Lester Smith? He ran the flyers. Really? Why are you telling me this? It's safe to say his own gang members didn't kill him. Uh, so you think this going to lead to some gang war or something? Yeah, it could. What can I do? Why don't you talk to your family for me? See if there's anything going on between the two gangs. Look, Carlos, I don't want to put you on the spot. I do want your help. I want you to want to help me. Don't do it because you owe me. I see, I see who do that. Good. Appreciate it. Smells good in here, huh? I come over every night for my daughter and the baby. Sometimes she go out with her husband and his friend Tommy. Did Tommy live here with them? No, no. Tommy lived across the park. But they was always together. My Jenny, Martin, and Tommy. Oh, God. Where's your grandfather? I 
don't know. What's wrong? What do you know about this business with the flyers? Man, we, we be in business with them now. Who killed Lester Smith? I don't know who killed him. Oh, come on, Tomas, man. You can talk to me. I saw you and Grandpa argue. About the flyers? I mean, Tomas, you know, I, I just lost 12 years of my life for killing a flyer. Grandpa says you don't want to be a puro loco no more because of the business with the flyers. Look, I'm never going to agree to that. You know, Tomas, being in prison made me think about life, you know, what it means and what I want from it. You know, for you, Maria, and Hector and me, you know, I want peace in our lives. I've waited a long time for you to come home so that we could be side by side. And you were my hero. Grandpa used to say, you wait until Carlos comes out and then we'll be strong. My father's wrong, OK? We are strong. I killed you, man. I have no father! Ernesto will lead us! Maria. I can't talk, please. Where, where, where's he going? I don't know. He doesn't tell me. It's about the dope, isn't it, Maria? I don't know, Carlos. Well, you better start knowing, sweetheart, if you're going to save your family. I need to add another filtering system to cut down on impurities. How long? Two, three days. It's too long. I'll give you one day. Look, we need another day so we know the product is top quality. Mm -mm, one day max, like he said. We got to get this stuff out and done with. We got the cops breathing down our backs. Here, let me show you how far I progressed. Carlos. This is it, huh? The flyers and the puro locos? Who's this? My son, Carlos. Let me guess. We got the smarts, they got the what? Money, distribution? What kind of poison we cooking here today? Maybe we should talk about this in- No more talking! You do whatever you want with that low life, I'm taking my son out of here. Let's go. Charlie, I'm staying here. Tomas, let's go! This is no longer your concern. He makes his own decisions. I'll take care of this. Carlos, I know how you feel, but we have a chance to make money, a lot of money. I don't care about the money. I want Tomas out of this. He makes his own decisions. He'll listen to you. Tell me you want him out. I can't do that. All this is is business. We ain't finished with this. We've isolated and identified the essential chemical, pseudocyanoperidoxin D. Basically, with a few additives, you can turn it into synthetic heroin. Ain't science wonderful. What are they gonna think of next? It's not an easy ingredient to get. The buyer has to have a state-regulated license and sign for even a small supply. Manufacturers keep extremely accurate records to maintain their license. You know, Charlie, Lester Smith's death has to be tied into these two dead bodies somehow. Maybe a power struggle in the gangs? Well, it may be so, but where do the Pearl Locals fit in? Maybe they don't. Yeah, come in. Sergeant Hunter, there's a call for you in your private line. Yeah, I better take that, excuse me. Sergeant Hunter. Hello. Hello. Hello.
Ernesto, I want you to know how sorry I am for you and your family. If there's anything I can do, you know I will. I appreciate that, and thank you very much. Carlos was killed suddenly for no apparent reason. Is there anything going on between you and the Flyers? I don't think the Flyers have anything to do with it. Somebody killed him. You must have an idea who it was. It's really not the time for it. Please. With all due respect, Ernesto, first Lester Smith, now Carlos, something is going on between the poor old locos and the Flyers, I know. I just hope that you are mistaken. I can help. Tomas, I'm very sorry about your father. R-20 Charles, go. 4 William 30 wants to meet you at the old red line tunnel. There's a stolen vehicle he thinks you might want to look at. Hey, tell him I'm on my way. Thomas, the car is waiting. Come on. Did you know that the Flyers would kill my father? You did, didn't you? You did. I saw him at the warehouse. If Blade killed my father, he's going to pay for it. All we had with the Flyers was a business arrangement. If they had killed your father, don't you think I wouldn't do something about it? Don't you care that your family is dying? First my uncle and now my father? Life is about honor and respect. Your father was a hothead, but I love him. Look, he's barely more than we're tearing at each other. And all I want life is to be different from you than it was from me. I want it to be easy. Is that so bad? What is it you want? I don't, I don't know. I, I don't know what I want anymore. It, Henry, what's up? Hey, Sarge. Well, this was abandoned last night. It's been on the hot sheet for four nights. It was taken from a convenience mart near Flyer territory. Any fingerprints? Lots of them. We're taking them now. And that's not all. I thought you'd be interested in this. Whew. What the hell is that smell? I don't know. Let's run it by narcotics and see if it has anything to do with that synthetic heroin. All right, my boy. Good, Henry. Keep me posting all these fingerprints, will you? You got it. Good work.
Not a friendly neighborhood, is it, Alvaro? Uh, check it out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You got it working real good, ain't you, Professor? <laughs> yeah. So, how much we got? Well, maybe seven, eight million dollars worth. Is that so? Mm-hmm. Best stuff on the market. Well, it's the only stuff of its kind. Hmm? <laughs> yeah. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah. That's good. Mm. It's real good. <laughs> Hi, Maria. Oh, Sergeant. Tomas and his grandfather have gone out. Well, that's okay. I, uh... It's you I kind of wanted to talk to, if that's all right. Me? Yeah, I, I need to know what happened here in the house the night Carlos was killed. Maria. I saw your face getting into the limousine today at the church. There was a terrible fight here yesterday. I've never seen Tomas so angry. He cursed his father, and he shouted at me. Ernesto fought with Carlos, too. Really? What was that about? Tomas was very upset because Carlos wanted out of the gang. Maria, the poor old locals and the flyers doing business. Nobody talks in front of me. But I can tell you this. Never before have I seen the members of the flyers walk so openly along our streets. Isn't it time you make some changes in your family, Maria? Sergeant, I have lived among the Delgados my whole life. Before I married Tomas, I used to go with him to the prison to visit Carlos. We used to have picnics in the prison yard. The gang becomes your life. You no, know, I know it does, but is that any type of life for you and Tomas? I mean, come on, you've got little Hector now. This has been very difficult for Tomas. He loved his father so much. This gang has a stranglehold on our house. Charles, come in. Order 20, Charles, go. Meet Captain Devane on tack two. Captain, what's up? We've ID'd the chemist. His latest shipment went to a warehouse at Mateo and first. We've got six units meeting there in 45 minutes. I'm on my way. Looks like this guy was feeling no pain when he got it. Yeah. These two guys are poor local members, Charlie. I guess that answers your question about the gangs doing business. Yeah. Also, why Carlos was murdered. Classic double cross. Yeah. Also, an all out gang war.
Now listen up here, everybody. We got some problems. The Flyers, they ripped us off. Blade. He began double-crossing us right from the very beginning. So what are we sitting around for? I say we hit him. Be smart, huh, Paco? Now, the cops know where the warehouse is. They'll be honest if we should make a move now, right? So what do we do, let the Flyers make punks out of us? We lie low, we gather weapons, we take them, we take them when they least expect it. Now, Blade, this guy Blade, he thinks he's too big for us. We're gonna prove him wrong. We hit him when the time's right. How long? Two, three days. Listen up, Now listen up, bang, listen up. Then we get our revenge. Everybody, go on home. Just be ready to move when I call, okay? We should go after them tonight. I said we'd kill them all. Take it easy, you'll live longer. Blade killed my father. I want him to pay with his blood. He's all yours, okay? But only when I say so. Now don't make yourself crazy in the head. Going somewhere? I got things to do. You tossed and turned all night. What's wrong? Nothing's wrong. Stop worrying. You're my husband. Of course I'm gonna worry. I know what's going on. You're gonna get yourself killed. You don't know anything. You think I don't have eyes and ears? I know what's going on, and so do the police. What are you talking about? Sergeant Hunter was here, and I told him about the Puro Locos and the Flyers. What did you talk to him for? He wants to help us. He and your father were friends. Tomas, you must listen. No, no more listening, Maria. You are going to die. And when you're dead, what's to stop the Flyers from coming back here and killing me and your son? Don't you think of us at all? Don't we mean anything to you? You don't understand. What is there to understand? This macho thing of yours. All it does is get people killed. They killed my father. I'm not going to let him get away with that. Look, if you go, I won't be here when you get back. I mean it, Tomas. I won't have our son growing up like this. Buford Fox, AKA Blades. They found his uh, prints all over the van, inside and out. The lab guys also ID'd the chemical that was in the back of the van. It's the bonding agent for synthetic heroin. Mm. Well, there should be enough here to hold up in court, Charlie. Plus the perfect motivation for this guy to kill Lester Smith. Yeah, you're right, Charlie. Excuse me just a second. Maria, what are you doing here? Tomas left the house this morning with his gun. Oh, where was he going? He wants to avenge his father's murder. I know. Where is he going? He's going to kill Blade.
Hey, I gotta check you out. Go on. No, no, listen to me. No, listen up. This is what I'm saying. No, uh. No, you got that wrong. No, I'm doing a lot of stuff here. What you talk? What the hell you talking about, man? No, you listen to me. No, no, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. No, no, I got the situation locked down. You just call me tomorrow and we'll have a meet. Que pasó, negro? What, you think you can kill my father and not have me come after you? Hey, man. It's a business deal. Your old man, he's, he just got in the way. Don't do it, Tomas. This isn't your business. Stay out of it! If you shoot him, I'm going to have to shoot you. My father died because of him. That's right. He did. He did die because of him. Don't let this guy take your life. I want you to think about your family. I want you to think about Maria, Hector. I want you to think about them right now. Tomas, you want to go to prison the rest of your life for killing this guy? Your father wouldn't want this. Think about your family. You're going to San Jose. Yeah. We think that's the best thing for us to do now. We're going to stay with my brother and his family for a while. Good. When you get settled, let me have your address. I want to thank you for everything that you've done for Tomas and for Hector. You're welcome, Maria. I want to thank you too, Sergeant Hunter. I and mean, I can see why you and my father were such good friends. You're a good man, Tomas. Hector, here's your mom. Take care. Thank you. 